Dr. Dre. I see you're getting your volunteer hours. Yeah. Uh, make sure you wear gloves, though. Where were you last week, guys? Also. <coughs> well, I was sick, and my primary doctor prescribed me some penicillin. Oh, that's good. Well, be careful, though. mercy has been getting really bad around here. Okay? Well, I noticed this cut on my hand for the past few days, and it's been forming a boil. Can you come take a look at it? Well, it actually looks pretty bad. Um... Set an appointment with Susan, and uh, we'll check that out. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you. Uh, no problem. So, Pooja. Yes? I just wanted to let you know I heard that uh, methicillin-resistant bacteria has been in the hospital running around. I'm kind of worried about you because you've been working all these hours as volunteer and cleaning all the bed sheets. You need to be very careful. Yeah, Staphylococcus aureus has been trying to get at me for a long time now. But thanks to you, Penicillin Notatum, I've been Staph aureus free for some time. Yeah, not a problem at all. Here we go, by the way. Have some more penicillin. Oh, well, thank you. You know, I've always wondered, where do you get this from? You don't want to really know, to be honest with you. Please tell me. No, you don't want to know. I insist you tell me. Well, to be honest with you, I secreted it. Hold on. Chills. What's on your hand? Oh, I don't know. It's some kind of skin infection. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I broke out in this rash a couple of days ago, and I wasn't going to do anything about it, but I started getting all these little blisters. Blisters? Have you ever had chicken pox? No. No? When do you find out what you have? I don't know. The doctor took a skin scraping of one of the little blisters, and I'm waiting to hear back from the results. What about you? Yeah, same here. They had me hooked up to this vancomycin until I find out what I have. Excuse me, you, you can't be in here. Why? You have to leave. I'm Why? sorry. You need to go back to your room. Okay, okay I'll see you. Feel better. You too. Call me. Okay, I will. Take care, Rachel. Hi, Pooja. Hi, Dr. Dre. You know, we, uh, we, we spent a lot of time volunteering, and I've always told you, you should wear your gloves. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And the reason is because you might have got a serious disease from... A serious disease? Yes. You might have got a hospital acquired or nosocomial disease. We did a lot of lab tests, and um, from the curve hour test we did, we found out that the methicillin resistant uh, Staphylococcus aureus might be on you or in you. So, what does that mean? Well, what it means is you're going to be maybe contracted with uh, boils more, mm -hmm. and get a lot of skin infections. But we are on the right track. We've we got you on vancomycin, mm -hmm. which is the leading uh, drug against MRSA. Mm -hmm. So you should get, you should feel better soon. We should let you out. How long is it going to be before it starts taking effect? Well, we'll see the results soon, but we have to keep, we have to keep you here. That's okay. what. Sorry, we have to keep you here. We have to follow up. But we do not want you to get MRSA, okay. which is vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Very dangerous, and I, I really hope that you get better. Okay, Thank so you, I will follow up and I will see you later. Okay, okay. Thank you. all right, feel better. Thanks. Hi, Rachel, how are you doing today? Hi, how are you? Not bad. Um, my name is Dr. Yogirski, and I'll be taking care of you today. Um, what I have here actually is your results, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm going to go over with you quickly about uh, what do we have and how we're going to treat it, okay? Okay. Okay, Rachel, I got the results, okay? Before we go over them, mm -hmm. I want to ask you, how do you feel? Do you have any headache, any fever, chills? Uh, I do have a really bad headache and I've had a fever. You got a fever? Nothing to worry about it, okay? That's uh, pretty common, actually, what mm -hmm. you have. From the results that I see, actually, it's a type of virus. The 
the virus is called actually varicella zoster virus. Is it serious? Okay? It can be very serious. Um, the reason why I say this, you have stage one, which causes chicken pox. Mm -hmm. That's all you, the rashes that you see on your skin, okay. that's from the virus. Okay. It can be more than and stay inactive on your skin and cause a shingles later on in life, which is very dangerous. It's a lot more aggressive. Okay. What shingle does attacks the nerve cells and it can cause a lot of damage, okay? So I need you to not itch. That's gonna prevent for you to get it. It's even really more. hard though because it's really itchy. I know, I know. I know it's tough, but you're gonna get through this. I was gonna let you go home and uh, keep you on um, antihistamines mm -hmm. like we have you right now. But I talked to my colleague, Dr. Dre, and he told me you came in contact with one of your one of his patients, something like that. Oh, one of my friends is staying here, and I was just walking and I saw her. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I don't let you go is the patient that you contacted with. Mm -hmm. It's very serious and it's very contagious. So I want to run a couple tests more than you, just to make sure everything is safe before I let you go home, okay. because I don't want to get this complicated even more okay. okay so I'll do that I'll send one of my nurses to take a sample mm -hmm. and uh, we'll do that test if everything works out good I'll let you home okay okay good. okay I hope you feel better okay thank you MRSA was bad. I don't want to know what MRSA is like. Do you think that it could mutate and you could get something stronger or is it gone? It's possible. It's possible. I'm glad you're feeling better for you. You too.